to stud or not to stud? A question that is commonly asked. How much do studs change the performance of a machine? Well, we decided to run a little test of our own to find out. For our test, we cleared the snow off a local lake and brought down three similar type machines to find out just how they would compare. Our XCSP is brand new and has 144 studs along with a set of dually carbides. Our GSX is also new with stock carbides but no studs. Our Warrior was tested first with a brand new set of duallys and later we removed the duallys and put on a set of worn carbides. The advantage for braking is tremendously better. Um, you can stop in half the distance with a well-studded, properly balanced uh, snowmobile. And that keeps you in control and in, in starting and stopping and cornering, which makes it a safer trail ride. The idea for each test rider was to accelerate as hard as possible and brake in the shortest possible distance. As you can see, the studded sled had no problem accelerating or braking. The track would still spin if you pinned it, but you could always control the sled. The unstudded sled was another story. It was very difficult to get going and impossible to stop anywhere near where the studded sled had stopped. Just keeping it pointed straight was tricky. End of the day, we knew the studded sled would perform better, but more important was our ability to easily control the studded sled. If you had to make an emergency stop on an icy trail, your chances of success are significantly higher with a good set of carbides and the right amount of studs.